In this video, I'll show you how to install uh, AutoGPT locally on your machine. So these are the series of steps you need to follow here. So the first thing you need to do is you need your OpenAI API key. You need access to this and we have to follow the installation in instructions and run the app. So the first thing you have to do if you are a Windows user is download Git uh, and I've already done it and let me show you that uh, so yeah i already have git here and i've also created a directory so the first thing you have to do is uh, um, i will give you the list of commands what you have to do so we have to clone the git repo here so let me do that you have to git clone this uh, repo path Okay, it says already exists. Okay, so let me do cd dot dot and let me do mkdir. Uh, let me call demo dir. So let me also do cd demo dir. And now here, let's git clone this directory. Okay, so we have cloned the directory here. And after doing it, uh, so we have to make sure python is installed so i'm doing which python so you also have to make sure so i already have a python version installed so now what i now need to do is if you do ls here so cd to auto gpt and now just do ls here you have something called requirements.txt right so we, i have requirements.txt here so what i now need to do is uh, uh, do pip install requirements.txt so what we are doing here is installing all the dependency libraries we need to actually run auto gpt locally on our machine so that's why we need to do this and that's why i'm doing this And in the meantime, what we also need is uh, you guys already know how to get your OpenAI API key. So I won't be covering that again. So what we also need now is go to pinecone app.pinecone.io here. And once you go here, you have to create an account. So let me show you how to do that. So I log out of my pinecone account. So it says demand is extremely high. So you might have to wait for a couple of days to get access to your free account. So I would suggest get a register here and wait for your turn and you would get an email that your pinecone is away. Once your pinecone is available, free tire is available. If not, you can also go for a paid tire and pricing you can see what it is. So it's roughly uh, three different tires what they have. I won't be looking into that because I would be using the free tire. So I'm not covering that in this video. So I'm going into my um, login here. And once I go here, all we need to do is go to API key and let me just call it demo auto GPT. Okay, it should only contain lower letters and it won't allow uh, hyphens or special characters. So let me call it demo auto GPT. I would be removing this after I am done. So let me go back here. Okay, so it was not able to install this one. Okay, so let me do uh, dash dash user. So yeah, there was one library which had an issue. So I'm just trying to install that for me. So just wait for a couple of minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to part two. So what we now need to do is let me just show you that. Just give me one minute. So what we next need to do is uh, go into auto GPT directory. And in this env template click on edit uh, you can edit with any file you want so you can go to uh, edit with notepad plus plus so this would open the file and the three mandatory ones we need here 
our uh, OpenAI API key. So what I need to do now is go into here, right? And go to API keys, create a new secret key. So let me call it uh, uh, auto GPT demo. Okay, so let me create it. So yeah, I have created a new uh, key here. So just uh, copy paste it here. Here, just copy paste your OpenAI API key. And after you do this, then the next one we need is Pinecone. So we have we should see Pinecone somewhere here. Yeah, so Pinecone key and ENV is what we need. So let me go to my Pinecone here. Uh, I think I already created a demo GPT here. Let me go copy the key, which will copy my API key. So let's take this out because we won't, we would be using it. So I'll copy paste my Pinecone API key and I would be, I would be removing that. So it does not matter even if you look at it. So, and then I also need to copy paste my environment here. So let me go here and copy paste my environment. And after I do this, uh, so let me go to the same dir and do save as. So instead of uh, .env template, I just need to do .env. So we don't need it to be .template. So I use the template to create a file. So I've created the file here. And after this, so the next follow-up step would be to uh, uh, we now need to go run our chat GPT so let me come back to this before I start executing this I wanted to show you something how we can use it so you can actually use it with command line arguments so we can do python dash m auto GPT right so let's actually do this here Okay, so we got the help. So you can actually run it in continuous mode or you can ask it to speak, debug, GPT-3 only, GPT-4, and similarly memory, browser uh, browser name, continuous limit slash integer. So there are variety of modes you can actually run this. So here are some examples what you can do. So, and after you do that, uh, I wanted to show you, you can do it in speak mode. So let's actually start it in speak mode initially. Okay, so let me just do it in uh, dash dash speak. Welcome to auto GPT dot run with help for more information. Create an AI assistant. Input manual to enter manual mode. So yeah, you can do this. So here uh, you can just do M-A-N-U-L. So uh, you can just actually do dash dash M-A-N-U-A-L. Manual mode selected. Create an AI assistant. So enter the name of your AI and its role below. Entering so, nothing will load defaults. So the default name for this is Entrepreneur GPT. So if you don't like it, so we can call it OpenAI Course GPT. So let's call this OpenAI Course uh, GPT. OpenAI Course underscore GPT here. Dot. I am at your service. Okay. So we can ask it to do a couple of things. So I can ask... Uh, what are the business ideas one can uh, or let me ask it uh, to do something different so let me ask it to do uh, this one search for existing filed and approved patents in generative ai for semiconductor here okay so i can give up to five goals here so i would give three goals for this this is my first goal Second goal is find possible ideas. 
related to this and next one is list the top five profit ideas among potential semiconductor tool patents which have profitable business use cases okay and uh, what's your budget for api call so let me say point one open ai course underscore gpt has been created with the following details so yeah so you can actually do this in various modes i just wanted to show you how to run uh, one specific mode and if you don't want it speech you can just give continuous so it won't speak to you i will start by searching for existing filed and approved patents in generative i4 semiconductor tools using google search i want to execute google so you you have to give y to continue or n to no so let's actually do Y. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Yeah, and again, this is experimental. You might not get the desired results you're looking for. We are just covering how you can actually set up locally and get started with your open. I will analyze the search results to identify relevant patents and ideas for new patents. I will also search for specific keywords related to semiconductor tools to narrow down the search results. I want to execute Google. So yeah, I'm just authorizing it as if you want to skip that, you can give uh, N for continuous command. So those are various modes that are available to you. You are totally free to use whichever mode that uh, works for you. But uh, if I would- I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Okay, so let me just say N to exit. Okay, so I've exited this mode. Uh, after I've done this. So similarly, uh, like whatever we did. Uh, so there should be something called Python scripts here. So yeah, let me do this in a different way to show you how this might work. Hmm. Okay. So there should be a scripts directory and there should be main.py. Okay, so yeah, this are uh, another way you can run it, but uh, this is how you basically get started with it. And you can do speak mode and you can also do GPT-3 only, GPT-4 only. If you want logs, you can do debug. So these are some of the ways I would, this page is attached to you or you can also start with Docker. The example is listed below. I hope you are now able to set up uh, uh, auto GPT in your local workspace and get started with your work. I hope this helps. Thank you for joining.